Come on with your hands up. The hostage standoff in South Windsor endured late into the night Tuesday. You did not surrender immediately. We will deploy gas. After hostage Nancy Tyler had been freed around 8.30, SWAT teams could be seen moving into position and pops could be heard as police shot tear gas into the home of Richard Shankman. Shortly afterward, a fire broke out in the house. Inside the residence, your house is on fire. Your house is on fire. You need to exit immediately. As firefighters move to the scene, a negotiator can be heard addressing Shankman by name. how the fire started, Matt? Oh, we don't right now. We don't know. Uh, we'll have to have our fire marshal come in, look at cause and origin, and try to determine whether these were uh, ignited intentionally or if it was something associated with anything we did. But the uh, devices we used are not heat uh, nor flame uh, generating devices, so we have no reason to believe that anything we introduced into the house caused the fire. Shankman remained in the house for almost an hour as it burned. He didn't want to leave the house. He wanted them to shoot him. He, you know, he wanted to uh, be taken out some other way, uh, and we weren't going to do that. Around midnight, he was taken into custody. He finally decided to come out. Uh, the, uh, apparently, the basement of the home uh, began to fill with flame, uh, and of course, the upper levels of the home were destroyed, and so I really think he had no choice but to come out. Shankman was taken from the scene in an ambulance as firefighters worked to extinguish the blaze.